I didn't have any exposure to really racing or, or rallying or any kind of particular racing. I went and I saw the 2010 Drift Championship at Sonoma Raceway. And I saw for the first time like Reese Millen and Tanner Faust. They were doing like the tandem drift or whatever it's called. Just really like the most beautiful thing I ever saw. It was just inspiring. I got home, I thought someone out here in California has got to be rally racing. So I googled it and I found a race that was happening in a few weeks. I emailed the organizers and I'm like, I'm ready to race. I got this great truck. Where do I sign up to race? Why don't you come down and like volunteer and learn about everything you need to know to race? So I did, I went there. I learned about the getting into the sport of rally racing. My name is Alina Lipolina. I live in Santa Rosa, and I'm a race car driver. I drive a 1971 BMW rally car. If I did have to drop off a car, I'm a very protective. Like, I only had mechanic shops that would work with me, let me do stuff with them on the car. Like actually, that's how I did learn a lot of stuff because I was really pushy. I just didn't give my car and walk away. Like I had a lot of anxiety about, you know, I wanted them to do it a certain way and I wanted to be able to watch or help. Eventually they would let me come and do stuff myself at some places. So that was kind of fun. So that was one way that I learned over time. One time I had, um, you know, get, you know, I'd have to change some wheels or I'd have to like put new brakes or do some, you know, basic stuff. And I'd come to this one shop in um, like North Berkeley near Oakland. And I was like, hey, I need, you know, I'm, I don't have a lot of time and I wanna, I needed new tires. I needed just something that was just, you know, not really that important, but at the time it was really important. And he said, oh, I don't, I don't have enough technicians right now. I'm sorry, you know. And I said, well, what about, what if I just go do it? And he said, okay, <laughs> really? And I said, really? <laughs> And he said, yeah, sure. So I went and like used their equipment at the shop and got to like do whatever it was I needed to do. And I started thinking, what's a good rally car for me to build? A lot of people will say, you want to just buy a rally car that's already made. But I like to, you know, learn and build stuff. And I wanted something that's like my own. I picked the, the BMW, the rally car, because it's old and it doesn't require smog. In California, you have to have a lot of uh, restrictions on the car if it's uh, newer than 1975. And it's, you know, it's a cute car with a lot of racing pedigree. So I found it on Craigslist. There was a few, there was like four or five for sale at the time. And I found the one that was advertised as a five speed. I thought, oh, I'll get the five speed. Um, that's a good deal. But it turns out it was a four speed. It wasn't a five speed, which I learned after I threw it into third gear on the freeway, <laughs> thinking it was the fifth. It had been parked since 1994, and the guy wanted to sell it without wheels. <laughs> and I was like, no, you need to put some wheels on this, this car for me, and then I'll come and get it. So we did a lot of negotiations, and finally I came to look at the car, and it was golf yellow at the time, just really chalky and mossy everywhere. It didn't really roll. The way that we got the motor started was we found, I found a little piece of copper wire like on the ground next to the car, and we used it to short some other wires that we were able to start the car. And once I heard the motor running, it sounded, you know, like it had some life to it. So I said, definitely, yeah, I'll take this car. And just immediately started stripping everything out. Your race car, right? So I started taking out all the upholstery, or the seats, everything, the interior, the, you know, everything that needed to come out so I could start planning to build a roll cage. My first race in that car was on, the, on a road race with the SCCA. I used it to do my competition driving school. So over the past few years, I got my full competition road racing license. A lot of people that are in it, they're really committed. They're there for all the races in the season. I just show up once in a while to keep up my paperwork and have a good time. I would take more risk if I had more seat time, but I just kind of like to take it easy. I don't like all that pressure. I just enjoy, you know, having the car, being able to talk about it, share, you know, share experiences with friends. Since the last big race is like a three-day um, stage rally, it's a little rough on the car. I'll try to avoid a big um, 
bolt stone that was turned up on the road, but there was like two on either side, and I, but I kind of drove over one. When we were stopped, I just happened to look down at my feet and I could see that the floor was raised up and wrinkled and mashed. And there was like, I could see the ground because <laughs> there was a big tear in the floor. We're gonna try and make the Idaho rally. Even though I'm a little nervous, it might be a little slippery for me, but I'll, I'll, I probably just won't push very hard. I don't really wanna destroy the car. But as far as the, the rally car now, yeah, I'd like to continue racing. So I kind of built it to last for a long time. I'm not trying to mash it up. I'll, I'll get something else that I can mash up. <laughs> I think my favorite part is the vision in the beginning. It's the whole process. I like the vision early on. I like the learning, the challenges, the, you know, when you have success with an, uh, an idea that's really satisfying for me. I treat it kind of casually, but also, but I take it pretty seriously too.